Like we're talking about, uh, talking with Mason about um, <coughs> some of the guys that he's gained a rhythm with, played with a lot more recently. Are there guys on the court that you've, um, maybe not the coaching staff has told you, but guys that you're playing with more that you're kind of trying to find a rhythm with specifically? No, not necessarily, because you know we're all still trying to figure out roles, and and uh, you know with me, I mean personally, I I, I truly believe that, you know I fit in with it, whatever whoever's out there because you know I can shoot I can drive and I space the floor for other people and uh, and it's all about taking advantage from there of uh, you know what you can get. With, 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 you know Norm obviously not here and he's going to be a big part of your playoff rotation uh, Ty said but so I, I guess how important are these regular season games in terms of game familiarity with one another learning each other's tendencies where they want the ball uh, Mason was talking about how Kawhi wants more space PG's more pick and roll guys stuff like that like how important is a regular season I think you guys have 15, 14 more games. For us, it's to me, it's very, it is very important because uh, you know we have very, I mean, for all for a whole healthy team, you know, we probably only had one or two games to that, and uh, and you know when Norm comes back, we're gonna have to, it's going to be another adjustment where we got to continue to figure out how we can get everybody to play well, and uh, so it's uh, it's going to be a task at hand, but the rest of these regular season games for us, is, I think, is very important. You guys were so close to some of, the, some of those wins during the losing streak, obviously the one-point losses. It, against Memphis and Toronto, um, were there things you felt like you guys had improved on that helped you guys get over that, to provide that little bit of edge that put you guys over the top that was different than during the losing streak? Yeah, like we, we, we've been playing a little bit better defense and we haven't been turning the ball over as much, you know. We understand if you if you just get a little, even a couple possessions better uh, defensively and, and less enough for turnovers, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to beat us. And uh, we just got to continue, you know, doing what we've been doing the last couple games and and continue to get better, get better because down the line we're going to get better because we're going to figure it out. That's just what a good veteran team will do. and. Uh, so, you know, down the line we'll, we'll get better, and we just got to continue to keep winning, and we'll figure it out from there. You feel like you guys have found something? We're figuring out. I think we're getting better game by game, uh, definitely from these last two games. You know, the sense of urgency is there, but uh, you know, like I said, a lot of those losses came down to one possession, and uh, and uh, now we're figuring out a little bit more. Kawhi talked about the level of confidence that he has in this team. Just, I mean, a lot of it being related to the fact that he's now healthy and back on the court. Um, and he said a lot of guys feel the same way. For you now being here uh, just a couple weeks now with him, what's your level of confidence like just knowing that a guy like him is out there, you know, one of the best players? Yeah, it's good and it's much needed because, uh, like I said, these last few games, uh, I don't know, 12 to 14 games, they're very important because. Uh, we haven't played that many games together, so when the playoffs come, we should be we should be trying to hit smooth sailing stride and and really only focus about what we need to do on the court to win. And because now we are we are doing that, but we're still figuring out each other's games. You've been on some really good offensive teams in the past. Where does this offensive potential this team kind of rank for you, or what do you see in the, the, the possibilities? I guess. Uh, we're it's different. I mean, I would say this is the, this is the a team where I've seen the most two-way type players, offensively and defensively. Uh, you got a lot more two-way guys on this team, so uh, and we're still trying to figure out, you know, offensively. We do st score a lot of points, but it could be even better once we figure out everything along the way. I don't know if I kind of, uh, I apologize if this is asked already, but uh, I can take it back to that. There was a stretch in January in uh, pre-COVID with that Rockets team with, um, where Clint, Clint Capella went down and Russ, I think, put up like 31 close to triple-double on 30 points and 55% shooting. What was working in that kind of like 20 game film, whatever that was, that he was able to just, you know, gain a rhythm, lead the charge kind of for that team? Yeah, because that was when we went, we really went to small ball. Um, so that lane was wide open because you had three-point shooters all over across the board and for us to just continuously go downhill, go downhill, uh, I think it was really good for him. You gotta, because, um, you know, when he's going downhill, he's hard to stop, and and that's what he does. He just uh, attacks and attacks. He just he's always continuous in uh, attack, attacking. Ty talks a lot about utilizing the small, small pick and roll, and Russ was the screener a couple times to a great effect um, against Toronto. Only twice, but it scored each time. And I was wondering during that Houston run, 
was him screening anything that you recall being a part of that? Um, like, was that something that was asked of him? I don't recall that time. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't doing it a lot, but I bet you that was his first time actually starting to do so. Because mm -hmm. we did a lot of guard-to-guard -guard screening uh, in Houston. And, uh, and I think that's just going to be the game. That's how it's going to be in today's game where you're trying to figure out, uh, try to create mismatches. All guards going to need to start doing pick and, pick and roll in and picking and pop in because uh, it's all about creating uh, uh, mismatches and I think that's just you're going to see a lot of teams other teams doing it too Thanks, man. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab